Good day, classmates. Good day, sir. I am Marie Cabiles Sedicol, teacher one of Costa Rica Integrated School. So this is my elementary mathematics lesson plan that I made with the topic of polygon. Objective, define polygon, identify and describe polygons by the number of sides and angles, appreciate the importance of knowing a polygon in our daily living. Okay, for the motivation, what is a polygon? So the teacher expect any ideas from the students and they should write down what they think it is for. Okay, for the discussion, a polygon is a close figure with three or more sides. The clue here is closed figure. Okay, so those sides could be straight lines, no curves. For example, the image, the first image with black background, as we can see, it is a shape wherein it is a closed figure and all straight lines. So we have sides, one, two, three, four. We have five sides with straight lines. Same with the next image, the triangle. It is also a closed figure with three straight lines. The rectangle also and the other image right before the rectangle. Okay, let's try this. Identify if the given figure is a polygon or not. So we have here the first image. So as we can see, it is a closed figure, right? Yes. And it has sides with straight lines. So there's no curves in the first image. So therefore, it is a polygon. Next image is the one that looks like a heart. Is this a polygon or not? Not. Why not? Because there's two reasons behind this. First, as we can see, it is not a closed figure because there is an open line here. They're not connected. Second is, it is a curved lines, not a straight lines. Okay, third image. A polygon or not? Yes, it is also not a polygon because it is not a closed figure. Fourth image. Correct. It is a polygon, obviously, because it is a triangle. It is a closed figure and the sides here is straight lines. Okay, fourth image. The square. Yes, of course. So obvious that it is a closed figure and straight lines with four sides. Next image is not a polygon because it is a it is not a closed figure. Okay, next. Yes. It is a polygon because it is a closed figure and all the sides here are straight lines. And the last image is obviously not a polygon because it is an it is not a closed figure okay so this is gonna be the answer for that activity okay let's try this again first yes a polygon second also a polygon third yes it is a polygon how about for it? It is not a polygon because it is not a closed figure. So as we can see, there's an open line here. Okay, fifth image, the cross. Yes, it is a polygon because it is a closed figure and there is no open line. Okay, next image. Obviously not a polygon because it is not a closed figure next also it is not a closed figure therefore it is not a polygon and the last is a polygon okay so this is gonna be the answer for that 
So for the analysis, we have their essential question. Where, where do we see polygons in our everyday environment? So teacher, we expect that students will answer a different answer, which is very common, of course. They could see it everywhere in their home and in the anywhere else. Okay, classifying polygons. So polygons have different classifications. So first we have this, a triangle. A triangle has three sides. Quadrilateral. Quadrilateral has four sides. Okay. So it's not expected that since it is not a square, it is not already a quadrilateral. As long as it has four sides, it is considered as quadrilateral. Next, the pentagon, which has a five sides. Hexagon, it has a six sides. Then an heptagon has seven sides. Octagon, it has an eight sides. Okay, so this is the polygon with its corresponding number of sides. So we have here three sides, it's a triangle. Four sides, a quadrilateral. Five sides, a pentagon. Six sides, a hexagon. Seven sides, heptagon. Eight sides, octagon. Nine sides, nonagon. Ten sides, decagon. Eleven sides, andecagon. Twelve sides, dodecagon. Thirteen sides, triskaidecagon. Fourteen sides, tetrakaidecagon. And uh, so on. N sides with an N gone name. Okay, classifying polygons by number of sides. What do we call a polygon with more than 12 sides? So it is an n gone where n is the number of sides. n represents of how many sides a polygon has. For example, 20-sided polygon. So we could call it 20 n gone. A triangle is the smallest polygon because it has three sides. Can you have a two two-sided polygon why or why not so is it possible it is not yes so we say the triangle is the smallest polygon with three sides so if we try to make a polygon out of two uh, using two sides only we can make it because as the definition says it is a closed figure and using two sides we cannot close it okay we cannot close the shape Rather, so we can only make an angle. So for the application, what type of polygon is this? Okay, we have a hint, oct. So how many tentacles an octopus has? Or a legs rather? Yes, it, it has an eight legs. So having eight sides, it is called a octagon next so what type of polygon is this okay so who this one is a trapezoid yes it is a trapezoid but having four sides it is called a quadrilateral So for the generalization, the triangle is the smallest polygon. It only has three sides. Pentagon has five sides. Hexagon has six sides. Heptagon has seven sides. And an octagon has eight sides. Okay, for the evaluation, direction, match the following polygons to its corresponding number of sides. Number one with triangle, two heptagon, three octagon, four pentagon, 5 hexagon, 6 square. So we have here at the next, um, we have here 8 sides, 3 sides, 7 sides, 4 sides, 5 sides, and 6 sides. After answering it, so this is the correct answer. Triangle with 3 sides, heptagon with 7 sides, octagon with 8 sides, pentagon with 5 sides, Hexagon with six sides, square with four sides. Okay, for the assignment, 
practice set and written practice from your textbook, page 123. Okay, so that would be all. Thank you and God bless.